Did you miss me? Hey guys, it's Ray Alvarez, Shoot With Ray, and I'm on site today. I'm, I'm actually at a wedding, I'm about to start working, um, which is one of the reasons why I made this video, is I want you guys to remember, for those photographers who are watching, um, learning from me, taking my workshops, taking my classes, joining my mentorship program, I want you guys to understand that I'm a working photographer, I'm on the field. I'm working weddings, I'm working events, headshots, portraits, lifestyle branding, I'm doing everything, and I want you guys to really, really know that part. So we're at the beautiful Ever After Farms barn. They have like four of these in Florida. This is just the outside. It just finished raining. I mean, it is summertime in Florida. Let's go inside. So the Ever After Farms venues have over eight different properties in the state of Florida. They all have similar layouts, which look like this. Um, when I was recording this video, I had just walked into the venue and guests were arriving as the ceremony was going to start within a few minutes. As I mentioned earlier, it had just stopped raining, so people wanted to cool off since it was already really, really humid outside. This video wouldn't be a full on behind the scenes video as I was by myself and I couldn't film most of it, but I just wanted to show you guys a quick glance at some of the gear that I used and showcase the atmosphere and the vibes of the environment. For this specific event, I was hired for the ceremony coverage and the portraits. Being that portraits is one of my specialties, this couple really appreciated my art and therefore pick me for just that. Which for that, I'm very honored. Since I wouldn't be doing the reception coverage for this event, I did not worry much about the lighting, the inside of the venue or anything like that. But I do wanna point out that the ceilings are high and also white, which for me is great. I love to bounce light at a lot of my wedding gigs. And if I was to be covering the reception, bouncing light will be my choice for this specific venue. I had come prepared with my light setup that will work both outside where we originally planned for photos and indoors too, in case it kept raining. I like to carry light to my weddings and I don't need much. So I have my 400 watt strobe held by my Cheetah Stand C10, one of my favorite light stands. And the modifier you see in this video is the Magmod XL, one of my most recent investments into my lighting gear. At weddings, I always use two camera bodies, period. One of my cameras will have my Nifty 50, which I always use. And my other camera will have my 70 to 200 during the ceremony for the zoom capability when I can't get super close or I want to avoid being intrusive. All of my camera gear is always housed and transported inside of the 300 case by condition one. Okay, so this is the Magmod XL put together and live in action with my cheetah stand ready for family portraits. It's a really, really bright day and although we are all covered under shade with tree coverage, using off camera flash helps me capture clean and properly lit photos for this couple. It allows me to expose for ambient and get the people in front of my camera sharp enough in case the couples decided that they want to print these photos out. Lighting does help with capturing a properly exposed and in focus image. Don't get me wrong, I could have shot this all with ambient and natural light, but there's just something about having a kiss of light sometimes. I shot all of the family portraits and most of the bridal party in this one spot. This spot also serves as a great photo op because of the neat background and the naturesque feel. It helps to avoid having to edit things out in post. Speaking of editing, I wanted to mention that I edited the couple's portraits with Evoto. Evoto is an AI editing software and it helps me in editing smarter and quicker. And if you know me, you know I like to maximize on my time. And Evoto helps me do just that. I just wanted to show you guys a real quick feature here. So we're going to start working on editing the bridesmaids here and it automatically selected female. So it's going to edit all of them at the same time. I'm going to click on a body blemish area and just get rid of the different blemishes across everybody. Here's a little before and after so you guys can see. That's pretty cool. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is get rid of uh, some of the neck wrinkles. Uh, that way it can remove the neck wrinkles on some of the subjects here. Just like so. And then I'm going to do some skin retouching again. I don't like to go super crazy with this, just very light. Um, the body blemish gets rid of blemishes on the body. The skin smoothing looks good light not too much not too crazy you know certain people like that look so 
proceeding on with the bride and her portraits i'm gonna do the body blemish here that's already getting rid of uh freckles acne and just certain things certain blemishes on the body neck wrinkle awesome looks good look how quick this is doing this uh Evoto's amazing i'm gonna keep going now to the uh skin retouching and soften up the skin pretty good here body blemish body smoothing before after check this out looks good it looks good it's light it's not crazy and and look at this literally under two minutes and we're moving on to the next picture so um i love using a photo it's pretty cool in this photo here i'm just going to be doing the body smoothing that's about it nothing else is necessary all right for my groom it automatically detects mail so i don't even have to click it but it automatically detects it apply some face smoothing body smoothing which helps with the beard area awesome let's get rid of some of the dark circles there's a feature for that there's a feature for everything here in evoto look how clean that neckline looks compared to before before and after it looks a little lighter a little bit more cleaned up i'm gonna do it one more time we're a little closer here so you're gonna see a little bit more details but typically this is what i go for uh, for some of my portraits, I try to get rid of just blemishes around the body, things like that. Um, I'm not really heavy on editing lots of different features out of the photos, especially for the portraits. But it all depends on who the client is and what they're asking for and what the deliverables are. Um, I just like to make it look as true as possible. I don't want to edit too much. Um, but in this case here, we're applying some minor edits just to kind of showcase the capabilities and the, the fantastic, fantastic features of Evoto. Uh, check this one out. Look at the hair. I'm just going to remove all of the strays and voila. Wow. Check this before and after out here. Look, look at this before, after. Wow. Click of a button, guys. Evoto is a monster, period. That's it. This is not a sponsor video at all. However, if you want to see what Evoto can do for you and you want to try it yourself, in the description below, you will find a link where you can get 30 credits on me to try Evoto out. Come back to this video later and let me know how you like it. I'm making a quick little blog. So, guys, this is Caesar and Doris. What's Hi. up? Hi. <laughs> Caesar is a photographer as well, so I'm very honored that I'm part of his day. I'm part of their day, very special. So I just wanted to give them a shout out and say congratulations. Well, so thank you. Thank you for having you. me. Yeah, he's amazing. So thank you so much <laughs> for being stars. here. Thank you so much. <laughs>